Eboracum, the Roman fort turned provincial capital, stands as a testament to the enduring legacy of ancient history in the heart of North Yorkshire, England. From its foundation in 71 AD to its transformation into the bustling city of York, Eboracum witnessed pivotal moments, including the deaths of two Roman emperors. The name Eboracum finds its roots in the common Britonic Eberacon, meaning yew tree place. The derivation combines the Celtic word for yew, Ebera, with the suffix akoen, signifying having. While some argue that Eberos may refer to boar's tusks, the prevailing interpretation links it to the yew tree. Latinized to Eberacum, the name became synonymous with the city's identity, echoing through history. Eberacum's genesis aligns with the Roman conquest of Britain, beginning in 43 AD. However, the establishment of the fortress and subsequent civilian settlement occurred in 71 AD under Roman general Quintus Petilius Cerealis. The 9th Legion played a pivotal role, constructing the military fortress on the banks of the river. Eberacum quickly grew into a major military base aligned with Roman standards. The military fort underwent multiple phases of reconstruction and expansion, evolving from wooden structures to stone fortifications. The fortress was not only a bastion of military might, but also a driver of economic development in its early stages. As the largest town in the north and the capital of Britannia Inferior, Eberacum achieved the coveted status of a colonia by 237 AD. The city became self-governing, boasting a council comprised of wealthy locals, including merchants and veteran soldiers. The vibrant community reflected the cosmopolitan nature of Eberacum, with residents hailing from various corners of the Roman Empire. Eberacum's religious landscape was diverse, featuring altars dedicated to Mars, Hercules, Jupiter, and Fortune. The Mithras cult found prominence among the military, with evidence of its worship, including a Mithraic Tauroctony scene uncovered in Micklegate. Christianity also left its mark, evidenced by the attendance of Bishop Aborius at the Council of Arles in 314. The military presence in Eberacum was a driving force in the city's early economic landscape. The command economy supported workshops producing military necessities for the sizable garrison. Eberacum also emerged as a major manufacturing centre for Whitby Jet, a material used for jewellery. The River Ouse and River Foss facilitated trade, with potential wharves along the riverbanks. Cereal crops and animal husbandry contributed to the city's diet, reflecting a diverse culinary landscape. Archaeological finds, including jet pendants, provide insights into the prosperity and cultural richness of Eberacum. Despite the decline of Roman Britain in the early 5th century, Eberacum persisted through the late Roman period. Changes in the layout of the fort and colonia hinted at a social shift, possibly reflecting smaller family groups within the military garrison. Eberacum's journey from a Roman fortress to a bustling provincial capital encapsulates the dynamic interplay of military, governance, culture, and economy in ancient times. The remnants of this rich history continue to be unearthed, preserving the legacy of Eberacum within the fabric of modern York. As archaeological discoveries unravel more layers of the past, Eberacum remains a captivating chapter in the narrative of Britain's Roman heritage.